go. Hi, welcome back. We just harvested motherwort and self-heal. So now we're going to make it into tinctures for use. I have macerated my motherwort and I'm slightly macerated my self-heal. We're going to use Everclear, which is a higher percentage of alcohol and can be used internally or externally. And I have my two pint jars. So, we're going to start by macerating some more of the motherwort just to get the juices from the leaves expelled and open and ready to absorb alcohol. Fill the jar about halfway. Let's go ahead and do the self-heal too. All parts of both plants can be used. Only harvest what you are using. Please, if you are not drying it for later use, do not harvest more than what you need. Fill the jars with alcohol. With self heal, you can use the tincture externally for wounds. Um, if you mix it with water, it'll help it be less um, painful on open wounds. You can also mix it into creams for cold sores. It's about oops, 16 ounces. And then the motherwort. With the motherwort, you can use it as a pregnancy preven prevention. You can also use it for suppressed menstruation. You can use it for better heart circulation. Motherwort is just a good daily tonic for prevention of venereal diseases, according to Chinese courtesans. Okay, there we put 16 ounces, which is exactly one pint of Everclear into each jar. Now we'll add the lids. At this moment, I forgot my Sharpie, but I will go in there and write the name of the herb and the date on, on the top of the jar to be sure that I harvest it at the right time, which is in two weeks after sitting in a jar and you want to shake it twice a day you want to put it in a warm dark location out of sun's light so i'm going to put these in my cupboard actually this time last time i put my tincture on my window seal and i had my curtain blocking the light the wind came blew my jar down and no more tincture so We'll put these under the cupboard so they're safe. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one.